Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Knack. We do have some live tournament action coming at you right now. It is going to be beginning here on MLG's Shakuris Plateau. We are going to see a PvP. We're going to be kicking the night off correctly. That is for sure. Olfune going to be spawning as our red Protoss down here in the bottom left-hand corner. He is going to be taking on SCD Karma. Got to love this guy. He is going to be our green Protoss player. Spawning in the bottom left-hand corner, so bottom right versus bottom left. But it is a fairly large map regardless. However, it is PvP, and that means fireworks, ladies and gentlemen. We may see a potential 4-gate here. Even on this map, a 4-gate is uh, still extremely viable, that is for sure. <laughs> says, good luck, good luck. Cry, cry for the PvP. Yeah, I don't blame you. They can be frustrating sometimes. Perhaps one of the more... Uh, well, I don't know. I'd still say that ZVZ is probably the most frustrating matchup. <laughs> <coughs> Especially for the first seven minutes of the game. Sometimes that can be crazy train, baneling, zergling wars. But 4-gate uh, versus 4-gate can be super frustrating because all it takes is one small misclick. One unit difference can just ruin the entire game for you and I mean it is what it is though so we are gonna see Karma starting off with a fairly standard opener here as well as his opponent he is gonna be notice that Ulfune is gonna be putting his his um, uh, buildings here a little bit closer to his ramp than his opponent there so Karma is saving just a little bit of time by putting him so close here as well as you'll notice that he is gonna wall off this, these entrances to his mineral line so for probes to get in and out or units to get in and out will have to go through the mineral patches here which it, it tends to make a big difference especially when your opponents trying to uh, attack you because if they run their zealots behind this line here well all of a sudden it may take them longer to get out um, underneath stalker fire than it took them to get in there while they were trying to uh, beat down some probes but it can make a difference we do have the cyber cores going down here almost identical timings notice that karma appears to be about a second ahead of his opponent notice that he is going to be getting out a zealot here right away and his opponent not getting a zealot so kind of interesting i'm guessing that olfune may be going for a three gate robo here we'll see if that's the case if it is it is about the time for him to go ahead and grab his second gas now he does have double gates out right now so I'm kind of interested to see how this is going to go, but he is chrono boosting here his warp gate tech. So I don't know. Don't quite know. I'm not super familiar with this particular build order, to be honest, but it is what it is. And off we go to the races. So we do have warp gate tech here for Karma, not too far behind. Notice the timings there. It looks like these guys are just about on the same page, uh, but just a little bit different here for Ulfune. Now he is going to be working on a couple stalkers here. He is going to chase off this probe, scouting probe from Karma. Oh, but Karma going to be tossing up an assimilator here. I think that he is believing the same thing that I am, that Ulfune is going to be going for a three-gate robo here, or even a two-gate robo, and that he is going to need that extra gas. And however, he is not going to have it here right away, especially since that was delayed. Karma going to go ahead and let this complete. So interesting play there. I think that he is going to stall Ulfune's uh, play there. Now we do have a robotics facility here for Karma, so he is not going to be 4-gating. It is going to be a 3-gate robo here for Karma. His robotics facility is going to be up and running here in just a moment. And it looks as though Ulfune going to grab another the gateway, making 3 for him now. But Karma way, way ahead, I think, when it comes down to it here. He has got a phenomenal tech pattern at this point. He's going to have good unit producing capability here in just a bit. And it looks as though Olfune going to be just slightly behind. He's only going to have two gateways right now. Whereas Karma has three warp gates right now. And that makes a big difference. We do have the first observer cruising out on the field here. And oh, look at this. Karma going to be going for a Twilight Council. Interesting stuff there. Olfune going to be cruising down here looking for any proximity pylons, just making sure that he's not getting forgated here because he really, when it comes down to it, is playing blind since he lost that scout in his opponent's base and doesn't know what Karma is going to be building because Karma built all three of these structures here. He built after he 
blinded his opponent there, denied that scouting. Great, great play there from Karma. So Karma, on top of this uh, game, I think at this point right now, definitely controlling it in a lot of respects. Notice that Ulfian going to be going for an expand here. I don't necessarily like this choice right now, especially when he's playing a little bit blind. You need to get good scouting in in a PvP before you choose to expand. And uh, Karma does see the expand going down. He does see these units here. But uh, you know what? It just doesn't seem to be quite enough, and it looks like Karma is going to take this opportunity to move out. I don't blame him. I think this is a great opportunity for him to potentially take the game down in his first push. Now, we do have the Twilight Council complete, but no tech from it quite yet, as well as no upgrade. So I'm interested to see if he is just going to push this attack right now with his three-gate robo, and this building end up going to waste here. Or if he is going to go ahead and go for his tech switch. But it looks like an observer here for Ulfhune is cruising out here. He did get down his robo finally. So it's three gates, one robo for him as well. Going to be tossing down a fourth gate here. But here comes the attack from Karma. Is it going to be enough? We do have to have some kiting here. There are plenty of zealots to tank damage here for just a moment. Oh, but blocked here. And these zealots are definitely going to die without being able to do tons and tons of damage. Now Ulfhune at a slight army disadvantage. This definitely going to be working against him here. Notice that he is backing up to his ramp here. Oh, well, he's just waiting for these reinforcements, it looks like. But here comes the attack. We do have one immortal now for Karma. Good blockage here from Ulfhune. Going to buy himself just a little bit of time, but he is absolutely going to need to get some more units out because he cannot block this very, very wide ramp here forever with just a couple centuries. And here comes the main attack. Not enough blockage here. Karma going to be getting in. Ulfian going to need to be doing a little bit more kiting than this, but it's not going to happen. Look at that. Karma going to be blocking his opponent's ramp so he cannot escape. Going to force him to engage here. Having to pull probes. Is this going to be game? It looks as though it may. Too many stalkers, too many immortals here on the field. And just one, but let me let me tell you guys, that is probably too many. <laughs> and here comes the attack. Karma definitely pushing this. Going to try and take out as many of these units as he can. And then go for the gold. And it looks as though Ulfhune going to go ahead and sack this Nexus. And try and build up some forces up here on his high ground. To potentially hold it off for just a moment longer. We do have to have at least one force field here. But it is too late. Karma going to be up in his opponent's base. And there's the GG from Ulfhune. Beautiful, beautiful play there from Karma, exploiting that uh, timing window there as his opponent took that expand, making the big difference there. And Karma will be advancing in the tournament, so grats to him. Thank you, Ulfhune, for coming out and playing, brother. We hope to see you in the next one. But don't alt tab, ladies and gentlemen. Always alt StarCraft. We will see you guys next time.